from NBC News. This is Today with Kathy Lee Gifford and Oda Cuffey, live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. I have, uh, have some old remotes tucked away away in the drawer. We're going to help you turn your trash into cash after your local news. More with Zach yeah. Levi. It's Money Saving Monday, and we are back with the very talented Zach Levi, who's filling in for our Oda today. Zach and I are about to get a lesson on how to earn some extra cash by selling unused items in your home. From remote controls to broken kitchen appliances and old electronics, who knew there's a market for almost anything? Here with the lowdown is frugal living expert Lauren Grootman. She's author of the upcoming book, The Recovering Spender. Yes, thank you for having and we me. Love having oh my you. gosh, we can't wait to learn because I got a whole bunch of crap I need to sell. Oh, yes. well, we've got crap to teach you how to Fantastic. do right now. Okay, so first thing, we're going to start in the kitchen. Now, okay. there's lots of different ways you can make money in the kitchen. Broken appliances. People just throw them out. People just they, throw them out. Because okay? there's a lot of components to all your broken appliances exactly. that you can so sell. Exactly. So if on. you have a Keurig, like this sells for forty dollars. If it's broken, like this sells for thirty. These, if you have an old dishwasher, why do they sell, sell these if they're broken? Well, not because no, that bit's not broken. Not the broken, Keurig, the, the but whole, if the, the whole thing, machine, exactly. Okay, you can right? sell off the bits and pieces of it. Right. You want to also look for in your mugs, okay? Yes. Especially Starbucks mugs. If you have Starbucks mugs, they're worth big bucks. Sometimes fifteen dollars up to a thousand dollars. What's the most? What's the most expensive yeah. location Starbucks mug? Um, you know what? It's Probably over the original in Japan. Oh, Japan. Seattle oh, is also oh, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I bought this for twenty-five cents at a thrift store, and I can sell it for twenty. Incredible. That's awesome. I mean, it's it's nothing like huge cash, but some of the some older sort of ones. Documentary up, right? sponsored by eBay, right? Yes, I'm doing a documentary helping a family who is uh, spenders, and so eBay and Aldi and Swagbucks are helping me bring this family to a debt-free lifestyle. Because every little bit of this all adds, adds up, even if you're not making a thousand dollars. Even old cookbooks. Old cookbooks. That's my grandma's cookbook. Oh, wow. That's worth about $150. Don't sell grandma's no, cookbook. No, I'm not going to sell that one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So next, we're going to go into the bedroom. Okay. Where you want to look in the bedroom? You want to look in your old drawers. We always end up in the bedroom mm -hmm. after and the kitchen. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You're going to look for empty makeup things. Why? Okay, you can sell them online. $15. Why? What, 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 who, okay. who wants that? Old. So who there's wants that? It's a very good question. Who wants this one? There is a program with MAC. If you get six empty containers, bring it in, you get a free lipstick. What? So people are buying the empty <laughs> containers. I've been this whole time. Online. Come on. Okay. Shoot. Empty perfume bottles. And then you want to look for sheets, okay? 1980. Because these are like old classic awesome sheets. That's how much sheets. this is worth. Thirty dollars. No, no, I'm gonna say about $120. No, not that much. I can sell oh, it for about on. 20 bucks. This one sheet Sorry. from my childhood. This sheet set, fifty dollars. Rugrats. Wow. Okay, so you want to look. What about like, like old favorite. school Star Wars sheets that like I used oh, to have? You can probably bank on those. Bank on those. Oh yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Hold How on do you know folks. the difference between Pricey. something? You have to put it out there to see if anything. You have to fair. look. I usually check on sold listings on eBay. Okay. Okay, and then you can see what they're selling for and see if you're willing to list it. So these are things you already have in your house. So next, we're going to the basement. Oh, I thought we were just going to sell old cardboard boxes. No, no, no. Okay, look at yep. these yep. are gems. Yep, I'm just going to go ahead and hold what on. What are these, 8-track cartridges? These are, are they? Nintendo. These are all, all Nintendo, Nintendo games. games. Oh, wow, more. That's yes. so weird. <laughs> Do not take Wait. those home with you. I don't know what you're talking about. Me. Old remotes on TV. Old remotes. Why? Mapping calculators. Okay, so say you see an old TV on the side of the road. Go and take the remote and sell it for like ten bucks, and they easily go in a card, you know, in a shipping label. I literally okay. had all these games. <laughs> I mean, okay. Turtles just, Original. Just ship them to me, and what I'll are we sell even them talking for you. About? And give you the money. You know, By the give way, your money. And these old uh, Kathy Lee and Hoda cards, <laughs> twenty bucks eBay. What about my old CDs? Yes, your old CDs, uh, yeah. records, yes. vinyl, and also manuals. Okay, manuals for cameras. So what? But Star the, Wars it, manuals. Is this like because Lego. they're collectors, or because people actually don't remember how to put together their <laughs> Lego you know contraptions? What? My my son, these are his. They he collects them, but these sell by the pound usually on really? eBay. So like. Ten pounds, you can get about forty bucks. For wow. Something for everybody. Wow. Something right. for everybody. Thank you very much. You're so welcome. All right, he's consulted everyone from business leaders to presidents and celebrities. Self-help superstar Tony Robbins.